Hey everyone, I'm Andy. I'm Chris. And you're watching Steer Smarts Garage. On today's episode, we put one of our Gladiators under the knife and begin the first of many upgrades to come by installing our Pro Series adjustable front track bar for the JL and JT models. Man, this thing looks pretty heavy duty. Uh, definitely, man. And at a glance, uh, you know, you can tell that it's beefy, but when you pick it up and put it in your hands, that's when you actually can tell the quality and the strength that's inside of this track bar. And that's why we call it the strongest track bar available for the Wrangler or the Gladiator. Holy smokes, dude. What can you tell me about this that differentiates this between other competitors? So, to start off with, it's all USA made, and most other companies can't say that. The ends are all forged steel. We've got polyurethane bushings in the end, uh, which are going to be a stiffer durometer. We do offer it in a rubber bushing as well. We have some of the best coatings possible. We e-coat the base of the bars and also the adjuster sleeve. Awesome. Um, even the threads are, are e-coated. And then we go ahead and we powder coat on top of that. So these are actually dual coated. Okay. Um, additionally, we have uh, right and left hand threads. So you can adjust our track bar on vehicle without having to take any of the pieces off. Uh, we also utilize clamps instead of jam nuts, uh, which is going to lock the track bar into place. Awesome. And that's going to be like 65 foot pounds on our clamps where on a jam nut, you might be in like the three to 400 foot pound range. So okay. a drastic difference there. Um, so yeah, there's some definite advantages to our, to our product over the other ones. Well, awesome. I'm looking forward to getting this bad boy installed. Yeah, I think uh, we can probably jump into it here. We'll, uh, sh we'll go ahead and show what we got to do to remove the uh, stock piece, and then we'll get this thing assembled and put it on the vehicle. Sounds good, because the stock stuff is less than desirable, so I'm looking forward to getting this stuff in and uh, seeing how it feels. Yeah, buddy. So now we're going to go ahead and get this thing assembled. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the clamps onto the adjuster sleeve. All right, so now that we got those on, uh, something to note is you just want to make sure when you're putting those clamps on that you get the orientation correct because uh, there is a nut on one side and there is a bolt on the other. So just put them on the same side for uh, appearance's sake. Um, now once we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of anti-seize on the, on the threads because a little bit goes a long way when it comes to anti-seize. So now we're going to take the track bar, which came off of our vehicle here, and we're going to get this to be the same length as that since the height of the vehicle is going to remain the same currently. But now that we've got that done, what we're gonna do is snug up the bolts on these clamps and then we'll go ahead and get this thing put back into the vehicle. So we have already gone ahead and removed the front track bar from the vehicle. So now we're ready to go ahead and put the new track bar in, which we've already gone and uh, we've adjusted the length properly. So first thing we're gonna do is put the passenger side end in and then we'll put the driver side end in and we'll put the bolt through up here to hold it in place and then we'll put the bolt in on that side and uh, we'll go and adjust the clamps and position of those and we'll torque those to spec and then we'll put this thing back down on the ground and we'll tor torque the two bolts for the track bar. So we're gonna get this thing put in. So we've now got the track bar on. We're gonna go ahead and check clearances on everything uh, in relation to the clamp orientation. And then we're gonna put it on the ground and we'll torque the track bar bolts to 130 foot pounds. And we'll make sure everything else is nice and tight. And then we're gonna go give this thing a drive and uh, get Chris's response on how he feels, uh, the, if it's made any difference in the improving his uh, overall drivability. So uh, stay tuned. All right, well, we got this thing buttoned up and ready to go. So uh, Chris, why don't you take it for a spin since uh, this is something you drive every day and uh, come back and tell us what you think about the difference. All right, look forward to it. Cool. Think, Chris, you had a chance to take it around for a little bit and give it a few, uh, put a few miles on it. I'll be honest with you, as you know, our roads here in Michigan they're pretty awful, especially where our building's at. We got lots of ruts and bad, heavy truck traffic. And before this thing just felt like it was wandering all over the place, and sometimes I get that shimmy, I feel like that completely went away. It's awesome. just a way different feel. Well, that's great news, and that's what we aim for here at Steer Smarts. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.